Hey guys, Logan here. Today I wanted to talk about Dysphoria and what to expect. Also a recap on the original series so people won't get too confused. Remember I will be putting chapters on this video so feel free to select any part of the video you want to skip to. So first and foremost so people don't have to wait, here's the recap right now. There were three friends named Mimi, Freya, and Tag. They met a boy named Sam. Sam seemed fine at first but he seems to not be in the right headspace after he fails to save a young girl that was lost. Sam then finds out that the girl was killed by her own mother in order to finish a deal with a mystery person. Sam just can't get the girl out of his head as he feels like it was his own fault. Sam then starts seeing a man following him everywhere. He starts to not think anything of it and thinks it's just his imagination until Freya sees the man as well. Mimi tells them that it's a bad omen, meaning that when people start hallucinating other people, it means that someone is going to die. This makes Freya nervous and starts to suspect Sam and not trust him. A few days later, they get chased by this man slash figure until Freya meets an animatronic named Ennard, which happened to be the same animatronic that made a deal with the mother of the girl that was killed. Freya makes a deal with Ennard saying if he kills the figure that is following them, he can have Sam's soul. It however backfires and Ennard breaks the deal, Ennard taking just one soul, he takes all their souls and kills the four children, and stuffs them into the animatronics. Mimi is now Mangle, Freya is now Foxy, and Tag is now Tangle. As for Sam, it's a mystery on what really happened to him. Skipping now to a few unknown years later, Mangle and Foxy and Tangle live their lives as animatronics, but something seems off. Mangle starts to have visions of different things. These visions, however, stop when she starts to see Sam disguised as a shadow. Ennard is back and wants to take Foxy's soul. When they encounter him, time starts moving backwards, almost like someone is reversing time on purpose. A few time reversals later, Mangle decides that resetting her timeline seems to be the best solution. However, it doesn't work completely, as someone or something has tampered with her plan and resets Ennard instead. This mystery person erases some memories from Mangle, such as her love interest Bendy. When Bendy tries to make Mangle remember him, he fails. Foxy finds a secret room in the circus tent down the road and tells her sister about it. When they check it out again, they are met with a long hallway that goes on for like ever. They are trapped inside this hallway until someone resets them, however, and they are sent back to their house. All they remember is the long hallway and the strange feeling they had with they when they were there. So I had at least 14 different ideas for the series and about 4 different names. One of the names being Memory, one of the names being the Soul Keeper, and the first one being Them. I had one idea where Sam was only going to be a shadow, still help them, but like he was, he was going to be a reference to Nightwing or Bonnie in Statue 37's series. And I had one idea where my OC was going to take Sam's place, and another was going to be between everything and one was going to be a remake of the first series in, in the Minecraft roleplays. However, I went with this one because I felt like it, I was more comfortable animating this as I'm used to animating animatronics and I really didn't want to get into the human rigs. Plus, I would have to either make human models for different characters or, or find models, then that was just going to be a pain. Okay, so what should you expect in the series? For OG Horror Daycare fans and viewers of my channel, this will be a very satisfying series. Not only will it be probably the only thing close to a season 3 to the original, but it will also be semi-canon as I did get Chewy slash Chelsea's permission to do this series on Discord. This will also be one of my best projects as I will be making sure every movement is how I want it and the lighting is how I need it. The voice acting may be off for the first few episodes because it's some of my voice actors first role, but I promise it'll get better as with time comes improvement. Some characters to look out for would be Funtime Freddy, however in this series he's just called Freddy. Lefty, which will be voiced by me, and Funtime Foxy, which will be which will have a big twist in episode 4, Drawn to Rage. For the episodes, there will be six episodes, but the length of each episode will be longer, except for episode one, which I'm estimating it to be around 13 to 15 minutes. I will also change episodes one title, which will 
be called from snapback to reality to wake up to reality. And here's the thumbnail so you guys can get the idea. Now for some model changes, I was originally going to have Mangle be the red eye model for her, but I went with the Splinks one because one for simpler animation, plus Splinks looks more feminine anyway, so. Characters you probably won't see are Ballora, Chica, and Bonnie, as I don't really have a need for them right now, but I might later down the line. You will definitely see Puppet, but I will be changing her gender as I feel like it'll fit the character a lot more than the male one that you guys see in the role plays. Please know that I'm not getting on the gender swap freaking change that everyone hates. Now I know some people will ask this, will Sam be forgiven in this series? Uh, the answer is yes and no. The reason being is that we're going to see Sam as this character who's broken of his actions and he regrets everything he's done. So it's kind of going to be like a, um, a, a villain who's only evil because he's broken kind of thing, but except he's not a villain. So yeah, I mean in some cases he would be seen as the bad guy because he left Mangle to die when they were human. The story will make you realize that deep down he's a kid and he did this all for a purpose. He will be seen as a hero down the line more and more, but um, because I, I, I want to make him a more memorable character than the original had him to be. Because in the original, they kind of just made him like a side character. However, another thing I know people will ask is how does Lulbit feel about Sam and what is their relationship? Are, th are they together? Are they brother and sister? What's going on? Um, I will not reveal anything just yet because uh, it's going to be revealed in episode 1. But let's just say that the answer is probably not what you were expecting. Now to talk about the future. As of right now, I have three main seasons planned. Um, I do have season 4 and 5, 5 being the last season, but right now I only have 2 and 3 like that are in development right now. I have the villain in mind for season 2 and 3, so I'm going to show you a few teaser images that I've put together for season 2 and 3. For the villain in season 3, which you see their hands in, te in the teaser, I will tell you this, it's a character that you've seen before, both on my channel and the roleplay channel. Someone who has popped up in my videos on multiple occasions and, I don't know, has either always been a side character or the main focus. And now I want to take the rest of the time I have with you guys to just thank you guys for staying with me and being patient. I've been playing this series for a long time, almost five years now, and I just want to thank you guys for being patient and staying hyped. Because I promise you, this, this series will be worth the wait for me and you. I do blame myself for most of the delay because I hit animators block a lot this year because of school and stress and scrapping ideas. But now I have a complete full idea I'm really happy with and I'm now putting all my focus into this one idea. I'm planning to have the first episode out late November, so yeah. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please remember to ask down in the comments. And remember to join my Discord because I'll be posting updates on there too. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoy episode 1.